up, YouTube? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to episode seven of Phoenix Rising. In the last episode, if I remember correctly, we were exploring through the abandoned little warehouse thingy-mabobber where we found Lynn and wound up taking on a pretty cool little battle with her and her new Phantom. In today's episode, we're going to be continuing on to the next city. If you're enjoying Phoenix Rising, make sure you hit the thumbs up down below. Make sure you take a guess at what our Who's That Pokemon is from the intro. And make sure you've subscribed to the little bell icon so you can make sure you see all of our videos because YouTube doesn't like to show us everything. Now before we jump in, I wanted to just very quickly say thank you to everyone that has commented recently on videos. The support that the videos have been getting lately is just wonderful. I really appreciate it. A lot of people saying we should have more more subscribers. You can help with that. If you enjoy, share the video with a friend. Share the channel with a friend that you think would enjoy. You can show them our Platinum Death Montage, our most popular video, just to give them an idea of what we do over here. Now, let's get to it. I would do a quick team recap, but you can already see it. Uh, ooh. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, I just want to look. We have Mimikyu, Nankata, Staryu, Murkrow, and Nidoran. And for now, we're going to keep the same. Whoa. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Um, how are our items doing? Potions, I only have three. Pokeballs, I have seven. All right, let's make a stop in the Pokemart before we head off. I, I don't know what's next. It's um, I don't have a clue. So, we'll find out together. Pokeball, let's just buy three more. So I can, actually, I'll buy, I'll buy five more. We have 15 potions I'm gonna buy. I said I had how many? Three? Buy seven of those. And that should be okay for now. That should be okay for now. So we're gonna start with Mimikyu today. And we're gonna be switch training per use. Or I guess, like we did in the last episode. But I think we're heading on. Alright, and hopefully we don't run into too many wild Pokemon. I know that the this area was particularly nice to us. Um, I still don't know what I'm supposed to do down here. Let me take another look at it and see if I can figure it out where I'm supposed to go. Like... There's not even like any clickable areas to say like, oh, a Pokemon could surf here. Interesting. Alright, so I believe we took out that guy. All that's left is to go this way. Looks like we've got another trainer here. Awesome, let's do it! Let's do it! Alright, what you got, Phyllis? What you got, Phyllis? Helioptite. Level 9, okay. Now, what do I have here? Let's just see what this thing's gonna do. That was a crit. Thundershock. I don't have Disguise. Hold on. Why don't I have Disguise? What's my ability? I do have Disguise. The shroud that covers the Pokemon can protect it? Does that mean that it doesn't actually protect it? Alright, I'm gonna go into our ground type, which I found out Ninkata has always been ground. I said when we when we first found Ninkata that, you know, it was bug, bug ground, and I was like, that's weird. Nope, that is perfectly normal. But I'm a dum-dum and didn't know! We've gotten two crits to start the day. So if you're playing through this game, let me know what you're thinking of it so far. I know there was... Some people were like, oh, the game's really good. Some people were like, oh, the game sucks. And... I don't know. I, I like the game. Now... <clears throat> is Teddy Ursa gonna have, like, faint attack at level 8? Fake tears lowers my attack. Or defense. Special defense. Okay, I don't know if he's gonna be able to touch me. Oh, he has Lick! Just kidding, he can touch me. Um, let's go... 
Teddy Ursa? I mean, I guess we'll switch out here. Lick doesn't do very much. There we go. Nice and show Fonda. Let's go show Fonda. Alright, um, just to make sure I'm being thorough. Ooh, we got a double battle coming up. Got a nice, nice and double battle coming up. And then we'll be off. Trying to make some, some good progress today. Uh, let me go, oops, I was already on my bag. Potion, use... I wish I could sort my bag. Like... Not necessarily like... Uh... Not necessarily like manually sort it, but I wish that like in... Well, a lot of games where you can just press sort and sort it by type or by alphabet. Alright, let's see, let's see what they're gonna do. Oh, that's cool. I like how you select between the two. Um, we're gonna double scratch this Nidoran. Sam's fast, which is good. Focus energy. What are you gonna do? Tail whip? Okay. You're gonna go for scratch on me? Like what? Alright, let's speed this up a bit. I like to speed up these battles. Because they're really not... Oops. I didn't mean to do that. Poison! Ouch! Alright, scratch. Whoa. Scratch there, and let's switch out to Shofonda. Shofonda! No. No. Hey, you know what? Take, take a peck. That's what you get. Sam's growing. We're getting poisoned everywhere. I guess I should have expected that. In fact, I think they warned us about that. Scratch. Ooh, I learned Haze. Cool, I guess. Double kick? Alright. Nice. Sam is great. Sam can just come in and fight right from the beginning. We're gonna have to use some antidotes. That's why I bought them. Antidote. Antidote. Potion. I've been playing Pokemon Quest a lot. Uh, and I think I'm going to be playing it even more later today. Now that I finally have a day off. I don't know. I quite, I, I kind of like Pokemon Quest. It's, it is a very grindy game. But, and it's, it's a very casual game. It's intended to be a very casual game. Excello Village. Excello Village. Not much money to be made in these parts. Well, not outside of freighting and fishing. I really like the homes here. I've never seen entrances on the side of a house before. Oh, I don't like when Tex does that. It makes me sound dumb. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Look at this house. This house is beautiful. Howdy, kiddo. Are you enjoying our little village? It's great being so close to nature, though I suppose most people in Hawthorne are. I only moved here a few years back, but the locals let me go on the pilgrimage to Mesto with them anyway. It helps me feel like I belong here. At night, of course, the polytoad fills the air with their croaking. Mom said if I'm not good, the Witch of the Swamp will take me. The Witch of the Swamp. Oh, won't budge. Okay. A useless home to set up the culture of the area, I suppose. What we got? What we got? Oh, I thought that was Kukui at first. <laughs> I sometimes reel in some strange things when I'm out fishing. You can have this. A twisted spoon. Okay, I don't have anyone that can make use of that. Actually, I'm going to put that away now that we're in town. Exilo burned for seven nights after the king's army marched through here five centuries ago. Ooh. That doesn't sound so good. Centuries ago, my ancestors were driven from here by the last king. We will never forget.
The chosen champion united the land under one banner and named this new kingdom for Ho'o's sacred tree, Hawthorne. A note was added. Oh, this door like blends in with everything. I really like the design of this house. Whoever did this, uh, whoever did the city should be, they should be proud of how they did. This is great. Folk stories tell of a place deep in the swamp where Ludicolo and Polito have wild fiestas. The village is very old, ancient in fact. The people who lived here hundreds of years ago are forced to abandon it during the war. Then they sought to re uh, refuge on Mesto Mountain where, until the war ended. Is this a custom Pokemon Center? Yo! This is awesome! This is what I think most Pokemon games should do. I think most Pokemon games should have individual, um, individually designed Pokemon Centers. I collect Driftwood to make rustic picture frames. Oh, I thought she was about to send me on a quest. I rest here on my way to Mesto before the festival each year. Such a nice little place. See this table? When it was a sapling, the war was still raging. And now it's here. I should have I would have preferred if it stayed a tree, to be honest. That's really cool. I hope in the future that Pokemon games can get to that point. Uh, I'm not gonna go that way just yet. That looks important. That looks important. Come talk to this guy that we missed earlier. Don't look too closely at the lily pads or a lombre might pull you in. Bruh? I like that, that's cool. They coated a little lombre, or a pretend lombre in, I guess. Our Pokemon like to give us a helping hand when we're getting our food to the upper level of our home. You mean... Up the stairs that are right here? Outsiders have trouble getting used to the smell of the swamp, I'm sure. That says... Hey, get out of my way, Pidgeotto! Dang, someone sat here and coded every single one of these fridges and all of this stuff to make different sounds. Am I just going to continue straight through this place? Okay, this looks so cool. You should sell the mud from the swamp. It has restorative properties. Excello has such a rich history with wood carving. Practically everything made of, is made of wood here. Well, with some exceptions. I'm going to buy four great balls and four super potions. Four super repels. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. I just spent like three-fourths of my money. Okay, let's go up here where things looked important. The Pokemon often transfer supplies up and down the river north of town. The land between Excello Village and Mesto Mountain has many plants that can be used to make potions. We can cat we can we keep our cats in this coral so they stay fresh. Occasionally a lombre will sneak in and steal a few. The Mesto Mountain Festival starts soon. I will be giving free boat rides to anyone who needs them when it begins. Come visit me later if you need passage to the festival. Oh, this is water. Ooh. Okay. Well, I guess it wasn't as important as I thought it might be. I found a full restore, what the heck? I might wind up needing that. A Pichu! I'm not really interested in a Pichu. The heck? That must be a wide tree blocking me from that far away. Whoopa, whoopa, whoopa. All right, after I see what kind of wild Pokemon we have here, I'll probably, uh-oh. What the heck? Bro! 
I was gonna walk across that! Again? We just repaired this bridge recently! This will not do, this will not do at all! You there, citizen! How did this happen? What's that? A shadowy figure appearing in a flash and cutting the ropes just as you were going to pass, nearly causing you to fall? Well, what a relief! I of course knew it couldn't have been a failure on the part of our flawless bridge-making skills, but one can never be too sure. We're all protectors of this forest after all, the Aridia Scouts! It's going to take us some time to get this bridge back together though. Maybe you should consider visiting the Mesto Mountain Festival? People gather on the mountain every year to celebrate the triumph of the Green Knight in protecting his people during the rebellion. It's a must go. What? Am I- uh, why am I not going? No, no! My duty is here! Every leaf in this woodland is under my protection, dear citizen! Besides, we have all earned our historical commemoration badges already! Interesting. Now, my scouts! Hop to it! Hop to it! One, two, one, two! Can't talk right now! Not a moment can be spa uh, spared in the speedy recreation of this seldom used bridge! How is that seldom used? How is that seldom used? This is the only way to get through to the next area. Where am I? Hold on. Let's take a look at the map. Take a look at the map. I'm here, so in order- Whoa, hey, 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 whoa, hey! So in order for me to get to Requiem Fields and own uh, on the city, to Templeton, to Romanti Village. I'm pretty sure Romanti Village is like where we're supposed to be going. I think that's our next like destination. But instead, I'm gonna be heading up to Mesto Mountain. All right, let's do it. Also, that was either a Scyther or a Scizor. I'm not totally sure. Oh, there, I'm just about to head to Mesto Mountain. Would you like a ride? Yes. Off we go then. Should take a wee while, but the journey's a safe one. That didn't take very long. We've arrived. Enjoyed the festi festivities. Just give me a shout if you need a lift back to Excello Village. The music got louder, but I'm not going to change it. I'm going to change it in my ear, but... There could be all kinds of colored gems in this pot. Then again, probably not. Alright, what we got? What we got? Hmm, I seem to be very lucky or unlucky. He said, lucky or unlucky. I bet this is the Magikarp boy. This is pro oh, Skrull! Wow. Level 5 Skrull. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy out. Even though he's probably gonna have, like, Poison Sting or something. Smoke Stream? That's fine. You can Smoke Stream me all you want. Sam don't miss. Sam is... I don't know, man. Sam has proven to be pretty good. Another smoke screen. Can you even touch me? Water gun. Does three. Your water gun does three. Three. I am missing a lot though, but I mean, this thing got. All right. <sighs> Hard work. Hard work spamming, uh, it's a hard work spamming the A button 500 times. Okay, his did six, so I'm actually, I'm not gonna waste more time here. Let me switch to using water gun. Let's just go show Fonda. Show Fonda in the house. And I'll go for a pick. Dang! Alright. That last scrub was kind of strong. The last scrub. He said, All I can catch are scrub. I mean, it's not a terrible Pokemon. Would I use it? No. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't use it. Alright. What this item is Mystic Water. Uh, okay. Mystic Water, give. Oh, you know what? Give... 
Leftovers to... Shafonda. Okay. I forgot that we got the experience share. Why did the mill tank cross the road? If he says to get to the other side, I'm gonna be upset. Because that's not a joke. Alright, I know you're gonna have Horn Attack, but will you have Water Gun? You have Peck. That's five. Oh no, not Water Sport! Oh god. Well, you showed Peck. Trying to learn baby doll eyes instead of splash, sure. Hollywag, let's see how much you're gonna do to me. All right, let's switch up. Go show Fonda. I like the the animations are pretty fast in this. Can I make it? I think I can take this polywag. Oh! One hit point! Jofonda! Jofonda coming through! Alright. That's Lynn! Uh, I'm gonna save. And I'm not going to heal. Is that smart? Because we just fought Lin. Not even, I mean, we just fought Lin. Oh, Domino, I didn't know you'd be at the festival. Nice to see you again. Vance Up and I have really been getting along really well, actually. Thank you for helping us bring us together. Oh, the festival! It's held every year! It's always loads of fun! Come, let me tell you how the ancient villagers harvested food. We took two steps. She said, come, we took two steps. Dose. Do you know anything about the history of Mesto Mountain, by the way? I do. History tells us that people sought refuge here during the war. The king's forces feared the green guardian of the mountain, see? So the people were pursued. However, the mountain was barren. There was no way to reliably grow crops. But the people didn't give up. They worked together with their Pokemon to make food grow. That P needs to be capitalized. My OCD, that bugs me. Alright, Fantup, you're up. Do what we practiced. Use growth. Oh, I thought Fantup was gonna, like, blossom into a random tree or something. Good job, Fantup. I knew you could do it. This is even stranger than it seems. Using growth elsewhere in Hawthorne doesn't yield as many berries. We think it's got something to do with the Guardian of the Mountain. The locals call it the Green Guardian. I think it's a legendary Pokemon. Would that be, uh... Shaman? It must be making Meso Mountain vibrant with life using its powers. Okay, that was all for us. Feel free to take some berries, but don't be greedy. You should climb the mountain. I bet there's a lot for a strong trainer like you to discover up there. I'm on it. I like Lin. I like Lin. I didn't like Lin at first because it was like... It was like, really? Okay. Couple things. The animation... This animation has got to be faster. It's got to be smoother. I can't do anything. All I'm doing is sitting here waiting. Now I can move. There's very few things that, honestly, in this game that I've been like, man, that's got to be better. Um, I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Oh, shoot. Sam is... Sam is hurting. Oh, frames, come on. Come on, frames. 
you can see the difference from here to here. The battle screen is obviously much more optimized. That's okay, though. Uh, okay, you, you didn't die. The Green Guardian is a Pokemon? I wonder what would happen if somebody was to capture it. Is that a hint? You want me to find out? I found a super repel, thank you. Alright, what y'all, what y'all want? Among these festivities, let's not forget what we are celebrating. The Green Knight is said to be buried atop, high atop the mountain. His brave spirit watches over all, that is what I believe. Mom says I can't go into the ruins and climb the mountain yet. But one day I'll show the guardian of the mountain. I'll show it how, to, how close me and my Pokemon are. Once I get a Pokemon of my own, I mean. Alright, developers, you need to come to this area and capitalize these peas! This is boring without marshmallows. Something just told me to click on that. I, I don't... That was my that was my reborn mind kicking in. Two Lepa Berries. Like me some Lepa Berries. Get that shiny hunting going. In Sun and Moon, you don't want your encounter to end. Ooh, a mud bray. I would consider putting a Mudsdale on our team. But I also feel like that might be the popular choice. I also kind of feel like a Mimic you might be the popular choice, but I've never gotten to use a Mimic you. Oh, you're the Green Guardian! Aren't these statues fascinating? To think that this Green Mountain was completely barren for a millennium. All because this Green Guardian didn't approve of the wars between humans. What is going on up here? Got a little... Little something something going on here. Aha! I spot a clever, knowledgeable young one. Come and see if you can answer my questions correctly. If you do, you will get a prize. I'm ready for this! Yes, I'll answer your dumb riddles. It's gonna be easy. My question this time is, what do we call the legend who watches over Mesto Mountain? Green Lantern. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like challenging. You gave me an air balloon. I don't know what I expected. The climb up the mountain is tough. You should take this. Awesome, thank you. It's important to stay hydrated. This applies to Pokemon too. Very true. It's about to be summertime. You gotta stay hydrated. Drink your water. Ha ha ha! At this very festival, at this very traditional festival, we share very traditional food. A century ago, people who fled the king's forces came to this mountain. They had to learn to cook food from what little ingredients they could find. Why don't you try out an old recipe we recreated? Mesto macaroons. Only 200 Poké Dollars. Sure. Let's see what this does. Where's my bag? Oh my gosh. Uh, Mesto macaroons. Heals all status posts. So that's a... That's a full heal. I'll take three of these. I'll take three full heals. Why not? Why not? People traditionally keep their Pokemon outside of its Pokeball at the festival, but you still need quality Pokeballs to let them rest in if they get hurt or tired. We took its rage from wild Pokemon living here. The results in these, we call them friend balls. Um, I'll take one on the chance that it says friend balls. How many did I just get? Two. Alright. On the off chance that I find an Eevee, I've got to catch Eevee in a friend ball or I won't be happy. <laughs> Why is it the first, the first blade of grass? Let me go! Also, can I heal please? Can I, can I get like a Pokemon Center? Elixir. Won't need that. Hopefully. Hopefully won't need that for a while. Alright, what is... Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about how hard it must have been for all those people during the war. It's perfectly okay to cry sometimes. It's human. I didn't say anything. We're here on our first date, but the festival was too busy, so we decided to picnic out here. The festival was busy? Am I not at the festival yet? There's like nobody here. Alright, but before we go too much further, I'm going to come right over here. And we're going to save and wrap up today's episode. Now, today's episode consisted of us getting through to Excello Village and then subsequently we, well, we tried to go across a bridge and nearly got sliced in half, uh, but then we made it here to, oh my gosh, I, I think I'm the worst. I think I'm the absolute worst at remembering town names. Mesto Mountain, goodness gracious, how many times did I read Mesto Mountain in this, in this episode? Anyway, in the next episode, we'll try and make it to the top and see what's at the top of Mesto Mountain. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you can see all of our videos. Uh, make sure you stay tu tuned till the end, goodness gracious, to see uh, who that Pokemon is. And we'll see you in the next episode. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.